definitely, as Santiago said, uh, technology is the only way to scale these models. Okay, um, and in this in this context, it was like such a sudden change in one month. Um, our purchase patterns, our customers' purchase patterns, were forced to change worldwide, not only in our country or in India or in the U.S., etc. So um, we need technology in several ways. Um, first of all, to enable contact with customers, uh, to keep on contacting on par in, in, in different situations, to change operations processes. Uh, it's the only way by using technology and improving it. Um, also, the, uh, to like sell our products in terms of mark in digital marketing, etc., and and so many other uses that that we have. Many companies, as I told before, weren't ready and were like in some kind reluctant to implement this kind of change. Yeah, they this situation and this context, COVID, forced definitely to to implement it, and. Companies like us that are used to to like develop and use technology, in, especially like uh, inside our or, or or our core business, suddenly uh, have a huge advantage over the others that weren't like ready. Um, and in the particular case of resale, as uh, I, I would like to repeat it, scale means technology. Uh, when we when we had five thousand products items it was okay to keep on a, to keep the information on a spreadsheet uh, when we scaled on over 30,000 or 50,000 products items uh, of course rotating every day it's absolutely impossible to to manage it like and keep the model um, working um, and finally there's been like a democratization of technology there are new tools uh, so as uh, we can get them uh, in a very like low price if we considering it developing uh, in-house. So that also helps different companies to, to, to take that, uh, that opportunity and to, to improve their own processes and uh, to make their models work, per uh, not perfectly, but much better. Uh, in terms of the customer experience.